They revolutionized skating and uh, enabled hockey to develop and grow on the Dartmouth Lakes. These stones in downtown Dartmouth marked the spot where the Star Manufacturing Plant once stood. Star opened its doors in 1861 as a nail factory. In 1863, they made their first Star ice skate. The business grew. Millions of pairs were bought all around the world. Merton Jones wrote about Star in his best-selling book, Hockey's Home. So the Star skate really made uh, skating popular, and uh, it's not a coincidence that the first documented games of, of hockey played on Lake Bonook and Oat Hill Lake, they used Star skates. Jones says by the early 1900s, Star had sold over 19 million pairs of skates. He says in today's numbers, that would be like selling 70 million pairs. The King of Spain had a gold uh, pair of scar star skates. The revolutionary clip-on design allowed skaters to turn faster. Paul Berry's played hockey his whole life. Okay, well, uh, I grew up, like most kids in Dartmouth, I grew up playing uh, on Lake Bonook, and star manufacturing was in the forefront of making hockey sticks and skates, and uh, so it's an important part of our heritage. It, it, it's kind of an honor and it's a privilege, and the more people should know about it, I don't think they do. The plant used water from the Shubenacadie Canal to power its turbine. It was considered one of the most important engineering projects in Canada at the time. Gordon Stevens owns Lost Cod Clothing Company. They make Starscape branded clothing. He says it's important to keep the memory of the company alive. It's, it's really letting people know that we used to make things here and that we still can. Um, and so by, by telling the story, by letting people know that we had these great products that were made here, uh, I'm, hoping, I'm hoping that uh, we'll, we'll make great products once again.